Alison's mother-in-law has got them coming for Christmas, and because one person has to be gluten-free, she's insisting that they're all gluten-free, including uh, Alison's 15-year-old, who's a bit of a fussy eater. And when Alison said, can, can we bring our own food then? You know, just can he bring food in a snack box? She said no. So she's treating celiac disease as, some, as if it's a kind of fatal, potentially fatal peanut allergy and that they can't have anything with gluten in the house, which is completely unreasonable. That is not reasonable, Alison, at all. Hello. I just seem to have offended some celiacs. Certainly not intentionally. Lots and lots of my very, very good friends are celiacs. In fact, there are loads and loads in Ireland and I spend an awful lot of time hanging out in Ireland. So I certainly didn't mean to offend anyone. And actually, I don't think I said anything that was wrong or factually incorrect or anything like that. But just in case, we're going to clear up everything there is to know about what it's like to be a celiac, what you can eat, what you can't eat, how expensive, well, of course, it is to eat a gluten-free diet, maximum respect to all people suffering from celiac disease, which I know is really, really a difficult thing to live with. And let's iron out any of the bumps in the road on my show today, sending everybody love, tidings of comfort and joy, and lots of goodwill in this festive season.